Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we'll try to see how those uh, reinforcement has been arranged. Already we have understood all the concept. So like I mentioned, uh, we'll try to see the cross section of that. Okay. I mean the longitudinal view of that. So here they have mentioned how is your PB to LA beam looking. So this is a table usually what we give. Sometimes it is quite difficult to understand through the table, right? You also might have found it a bit difficult to understand. So in that case, what people do is they give a small longitudinal section so that you get an understanding of that. Now, again, you just concentrate here. You can see the top still being given here. So this is my top still. Okay. Similarly, a bottom still is also shown. Along with that, you can see a curtailment bar is also shown. I'll show that with a green color. So this is my bottom curtailment. Okay. And as mentioned it here, 16 diameter two bar, which is a curtail bar. And also this is my top left extra. I'll go with a different color. See here, it's written. This is top left extra and this is your top right extra. Got it. So that is how it is written here end support and here also it is written, right? Yeah. Now till what distance this is going to go this top left extra, it will go up to four feet and your top right extra, it will go up to four feet. That is from the center of the column it goes. So that much distance you are supposed to keep it. Got it. Yeah. Now what all things is left out other than that, most of the things we have understood. Uh, again, you can see here, this is, this is for the stirrup that is you have to provide an 8 mm bar at six inches center to center support. Similarly, at the end also you have to provide an 8 mm bar at six inches center to center support support. Whereas in the middle, you have to provide an 8 mm bar, but the center to center support is eight inches. So what is trying to tell for that matter, if I take one of the beam from here, I'll show you through one of the beam. Okay. Yeah. So in this particular project, they have not maintained that, but later when I went, I told them to change, but initially what they had done is they had kept all the spacing same. So what they are actually trying to tell is this center to center spacing has to be six inches, six inches and six inches. This is my left support. Similarly, this also has to be six inches, six inches, six inches and six inches. And now this is my middle portion here. Your center to center distance has to be eight inches. Since what is the concept behind that? We know because at the center, your shear force will be less. When the shear force itself is less, no much steel is required. No much stirrup is required. If no much stirrup is required, we can increase the spacing. We know all those things, right? So that is the main concept. So now you, you don't see the difference here because they had done a mistake on the side that everywhere they had given six inches throughout, which is not the right way to practice. In the center, you can increase the spacing. So that is why in the structural drawing, if I try to show you now, you see here, support at one third of a span and rest. When they say one third of the span that is near the support, you can see everywhere it is eight mm bar only at six inches center to center, six inches, six inches, six inches. Whereas rest in the sense, the middle portion is called as rest. So it's written eight inches, eight inches, eight inches and eight inches. Again, you can see it here also. See here, this is a support portion. This is also support portion. This is a rest. Rest in the sense, the middle portion, we call it as a rest. Here your center to center spacing is eight inches. Here it is six inches and here it is six inches. Got it? Yeah. So now uh, another thing is that, yeah, this uh, curtailment length we have to find. Yeah. I'll tell you how to find the curtailment length. See, if you understand uh, this curtailment bar, you can see it here. This curtailment bar. Yeah. So now we don't know the length of this curtailment bar, right? Here they are going to mention that at what length you have to curtail. It's written 0 0.7 into L1. So what is this 0 0.7 into L1? So we put it in a better way. Let us say from this column to this column, the distance is 10 meter. I'm speaking in terms of meter. Okay. So it is 10 meter. Now what is 0.7 into 10? Because 0.7 into 10, if I do, I'm going to get seven meter, right? Seven meter. So that means practically the meaning of the curtailment is that from here to here, you have to maintain seven meter distance. Got it. You have to maintain seven. Overall, it was 10 meter. Now only the middle portion will be seven meter, another three meter in the sense 1.5 meter you live from here and 1.5 meter you are going to live from here. Got it. So that is how you are supposed to do. Similarly, uh, we can take another thing also here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now coming to the other part. So the top extra now come to the top extra. So top still they have, they have written it here 0 0.33 into L1 plus L2. And here he has given 0.2 into L1. That means wherever you have a continuous support, no, there your extra still has to go 0 0.33 into L1. Wherever you have an end support, no, there you have to go for 0 0.2 into L1. That means through a 
drawing only i'll explain you see now for this particular beam this is my end support isn't it whereas for this particular column this is a continuous beam i have that means this is a continuous support this is end support now go to the drawing again so wherever it's written extra steel at end support that extra steel you have to give up to 0.2 into l1 that means practically let us say from this column from this column center to this column center i'll take a distance as 15 meter okay practically 15 meter is not possible i'll take it no issues now tell me what should be this distance from here to here this from here to here very simple the formula is given 0.2 into l1 so my l1 is 15 meter so try to do this 0 0.2 into 15 0 0.2 into 15 comes out to be 3 meter 3 meter very good so this will be 3 meter so this distance what i have now i'm going to write this as 3 meter change the color yeah 3 meter similarly now come here so this portion i don't know again this is my continuous for the continuous what the uh, drawing says that for the continuous extra steel at continuous support it is 0 0.33 into l1 plus l2 you don't have to do this l1 plus l2 okay it is actually l1 or l2 whichever is the higher you have to take you just remember 0 0.33 okay that is enough so that means this was 15 meter so do 0 0.33 of 15 0 0.33 into 15 so tell me what is the answer you are getting 0 0.33 into 15 so I'm getting a 4.95. So I can take 4.95 as 5 meter. You can round off it 5 meter. Okay. Now that means practically from here to here, this distance, no, this extra bar, what you have provided, will keep it as 5 meter from here. Got it? So this is the importance of that curtain and bar. And all those things will be mentioned in the structural drawing. So usually if you're lucky, they're going to give you everything. If you're lucky, they'll give you everything. Like see, they have given it here. From here to here, it is 4 feet. From here to here, it is 4 feet. From here, you leave 3 feet. From here, you leave 3 feet. And then you give this curtainment bar. Okay. So everything will be mentioned. Just in case if they don't mention, then whatever formula I thought, you know, I already have written it here. You can do the calculation and do it on the site. Okay. Because sometimes what happens, all those things will not be given. So we should be in a position to understand that. That's all. That's all. Okay. Now, again, you can see here, it's a 14 feet, 11 inch. So try to do this. Let me try to do it. I'll see. So 14.11 into 0 0.2. Yeah. So we'll do for this. Okay. So take it as an assignment. See, we know from this center to center, it is 14 feet, 11 inch. Now tell me how did I, how, how did, how did these people get three feet here? So very simple calculation we are supposed to do. So if I look at this particular beam, this becomes my end support because I don't have any beam running in this direction. So this is my end condition. For the end condition, what is the formula you're supposed to apply? So for the end condition, yeah, extra steel at end support, it is how much? 0 0.2 into L1, right? Because we are looking at the top steel now. So 0 0.2 into L1, that means 0 0.2 into what is L1? That is 14.11 I'll do, okay? 14.11 uh, inch it is. So if you do it, 0 0.2 into 14.11, uh, I'm getting... Uh, 2.82 or I can do one more thing. I'll convert this for our understanding. What I'm doing is that this 14 feet, 11 inch, you convert this in terms of feet. So I'll quickly do that. Okay. Yeah. So what you can do is take this as 0 0.2 into 14.91. Try to do what is the answer you're getting. Tell me into 0 0.2. We're getting 2.98, 2.98. So that is feet, okay? 2.98 is a feet. And practically they are given three feet because 2.98, you can take it as three feet. How did I get this 14.91? What I've done, 14 feet, my answer, my dimension is 14 feet, 11 inch, right? I'm converting this 11 inch in terms of feet. So 11 divided by 12 because one feet is 12 inches. One feet is 12 inches. So I'm converting that in terms of foot. So 11 inch divided by 12, I've done it. So 11 divided by 12, I'm getting 0 0.92. This is 0 0.92 is a inches. Sorry, 0 0.92 is a feet. Okay. I hope I'm able to convey you. So that's it. Very simple. So I'll add 14, 14 plus 0 0.92. Try to do that. I'm getting 
14.92. I've written 14.91 here. It's okay. Got it? In this way, you're supposed to do and we have got the answer. Now come to this portion. Come to this portion. How did you get five feet here? Again, very simple. So for this particular beam, this is a column what I have, but I have a beam going in this direction. Then this becomes my continuous support. And for the continuous support, you have to use 0 0.33, right? You have to use 0 0.33. Now try to apply this formula of 0 0.33. That means 0 0.33 multiply this by what is the distance 14.91 okay so if i do that 0 0.33 into 14.91 i'm getting 4.92 that is 4 feet and 9 inches what you're getting okay or we can say it is 4 feet 4 feet 10 inches i can say so here instead of giving 4 feet 10 inches pra practically what the people have done is they have given 5 feet here can you see 5 feet answer has come so in this way, you have to apply that formula and based on that, you're going to do. Now, all these things have done, all these things have been done by using the same uh, condition what they have given it here. Similarly, now coming to the cross section. Now, this is a cross section for that. Okay. So what is this cross section for this particular beam? The same cross section, they have shown it here. So uh, you have to check where they have cut it. Yeah, you can see here. So this is a beam what I have, right? And they have cut a section here. If I cut a section here, then this is how it looks. So you written cross section at XX. Then this is how it looks. It's a nine inch by one feet, six inches, the size of your beam. Okay. And you can see a 12 diameter two bar at the straight you have to provide. And then 16 diameter two bar at the end support you're supposed to provide. And then again, bottom you see 16 diameter two bar will go straight and 16 diameter two bar will be a curtailment bar. Okay. All right. And then again, you have to make use of a 8 mm bar at six inches center to center spacing. Similarly, they have given it for the section YY. They have given it for the section YY. See, when you uh, look at the section, uh, it, it will be showing in this way because it's a dot dot. This dot represents the green dot represents the rebar. Okay. But uh, how much curtailment length you have to provide and all no? those things you have to see from the uh, longitudinal view only. Here from here only, you are going to get an idea. Then what is that uh, curtailment length and all? Now I'll go for the section YY. Again, for this beam, you see here, they have drawn a section YY. They've cut a beam and that is how it is shown it here. That is how they have shown it here. Okay. So what we can do is that we can try to do on our own. So can you put the cross section of this? It's very simple. See, when I cut a bar here, I'm going to see my top steel. I'll do it for you. We'll see. So this is my beam now. Okay, good. So I'll quickly draw all those things. So I can see the top bar. If I cut a section, I can see a top bar. If it is at top bar, it's a 12 diameter two bar. So I'll quickly draw a 12 diameter two bar. This is one. This is another 12 diameter two bar. Then I can see this steel also. So it's a 12 diameter one bar at the end support. At the end support, it's a 12 diameter one bar. That means it will be here only. It will be in between this. Okay. This is my 12 diameter one bar. Similarly, come to the bottom. Bottom, you have to provide a 12 diameter two bar. So this is one. And this is another 12 diameter two bar, right? So this is how a cross section looks if I cut it here and let me cross verify whether uh, the person done has done the same thing here or not. Yeah, exactly. You can see whatever I've taught you, the same thing they've done. This two are the red color, which is a 12 diameter two bar. And the middle one is your 12 diameter one bar at the end support. You can see it here. And bottom, you see what I've done. I've given 12 diameter two bar that is a straight one and two. And of course, this eight diameter bar at six inches center to center spacing is mentioned here. So of course that will be given. It will be shown here. Okay. It will be shown here and same thing you can do, or it will be written here also. If I cut a section here, it's written eight mm bar at six inches center to center at the support. The same thing they have given at the section YY that is eight mm bar at six inches center to center spacing. Got it. So I hope you have understood it. Same thing is here also. Just uh, try to understand this. Just take a screenshot of this or something like that. Try to see it and same cross section they have given it here. They've given it here. Take an assignment. You take this as an assignment and try to put a cross section for this CC. I'll quickly do this. You, you pause my video and you do it on your own. I'll show you how it has to be done. I'll draw a beam. Okay, I'll draw in this way. I'll draw a beam like this. Okay. Now I've cut a section here, right? So that means my this top steel will be visible. What is that top steel now? For that, I have to check here. What is the top steel? So this top steel is actually 12 diameter two bar. That is fine. So I'll draw a 12 diameter two bar. So this is one 12 diameter and this is another 12 diameter. Then again, this, this bar is also visible. It's a 16 diameter one bar. I'll take a different color. So 
So this is my 16 diameter one bar. Come to the bottom portion. Bottom we are providing only a 16 diameter two bar. This is my bottom. See, this is my bottom. This is my bottom bar. Okay, it is shown here. That is a 16 diameter two bar. So that is why I'll do 16 diameter two bar here. Yeah. So this is one 16 diameter and this is another 16 diameter. Of course, I have to put a stirrup. Let me put a stirrup also for that. Yeah, so this is a stirrup what I have put. And what is a stirrup? It's a 8 mm bar at 6 inches center to center spacing. I'll write it here if you want. It's a 8 mm bar. Okay. At uh, 6 inches center to center support. I'll write in this way hash. It's understood that you have to provide a, a 8 diameter bar at 6 inches center to center spacing. Got it? Now we'll try to cross verify whether the same thing has been done here. Yeah, the same thing has been done. See, 12 diameter two bar, one and two. Add the red one is my 12 diameter two bar. This one is my 16 diameter one bar, the white one. Bottom 16 diameter two bar, one and two is my 16 diameter two bar. And it's a 8 mm at six inches center to center spacing. Eight dia bar. I mean, it's a eight diameter, eight diameter bar at six inches. So eight diameter at six inches center to center spacing. And practically all these are your uh, stir up how it's going to look, okay? All these are six inches, six inches, six inches and six inches. Right. So I hope I was able to convey most of the things and we have understood this entire layout for this particular building. After this, uh, we'll try to take the staircase part, how the staircase drawing looks. And uh, that's how we are going to finish this particular building. Right now, these are the drawings what I have with me. And whenever I get the slab layout for this, we'll try to add that in the next lecture. Right now, I have another staircase because right now this, pro this particular project is uh, happening on the side practically. So whatever drawing I have got so far, uh, that is a staircase drawing I have. I'll explain that. And future when I get my uh, slab layout for the same drawing, I'll show you the slab also. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.